In this video, I'm going to show you how to use simple shapes to make great designs. What's up guys? Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Nate Hibbert and this is Wingman University where our goal is to help you start and scale a print-on-demand business. Today I was doing some research inside of the bird niche and I came across the design that I'm going to show you in just a second that I thought it did a good job of combining a few simple icons and made a very pleasing logo at the end of things. So I'm going to jump into that today. I'm going to show you the example that I'm going to work from and then I'm going to take inspiration from that and make our own inside of Adobe Spark. Let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm still doing a lot of research inside of Pinterest. I just really love the ease and uh, the ability to use this website to not only save these designs inside of the pin boards, but just to get a lot of inspiration uh, from just coming in here and typing in a simple saying. So the, the niche that we're going after is bird niche, and the saying is this bird nerd shirt with binoculars. Uh, I really like this one because it was just a cool way of combining binoculars and having birds in the eyes of each one and the word bird nerd on there. Uh, I just thought it was a very clean logo that included a couple different icons, but all works very well together. So I thought I'd take a stab at making this myself. So I'm going to split my screen here in half, putting our example that we're going to work from and take inspiration from across from our actual artboard here inside of Adobe Spark. And I've already got my artboard all set to go. Uh, it's the right sizing and it's got this black background because again, our sh most popular shirt color uh, that we sell on is black. So I usually want to be designing on a black shirt to make sure that our designs will look good on black apparel. So I think the most crucial thing for this design is going to be these binoculars. So I'm going to go into my icons here and I'm going to type in binocular. And thanks to the Noun Project and Adobe Spark's partnership with the Noun Project, it's going to pull up a bunch of these icons that we can use. And the ones that I'll be looking for are nice and big that I can actually fit some other icons inside of them. Uh, so something like this might work. Um, but what I'm looking at here is if I make this too big, it almost feels very chunky. Uh, and you kind of lose what it is. Because we typed in the word binocular, and that's what we're looking for, uh, I, I think you would be able to recognize these. But if you just saw this on a shirt, you might not fully understand what's going here. So I am going to be looking for one with a little bit more detail, uh, and maybe the lines aren't so thick. So I'm going to keep going down. Here's another one. Um, this one's all right, but I'm not a huge fan of all this blank space in here. And again, if you just saw this sitting by itself floating out inside of the world, you might not understand exactly what it is. So slightly more detail and a little bit less thick lines. Now my saying usually is bold, clean, and simple. Uh, but for this one, I want to make sure that it's very clear of what it is. So I don't want something that's oversimplified. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. Uh, I kind of like this one, but it's got this like lens glint on here. So that's going to limit our ability to put some birds uh, inside. So just trying to give you an idea of what it looks like. I know some of these videos, uh, I just kind of get straight to the point because I've used a lot of these icons before, but binoculars honestly is not something I have used before. Um, so just going through a couple of these to see which one I would like. Uh, this is kind of the same thing where these big cutouts, and this one's actually uh, a little deformed up here, it looks like at the top. Uh, so I'm not going to be using that. And instead of going in here to icons and adding a bunch of these, you can actually just click on this and hit replace icon. Uh, so I'm going to keep going down and see what we can come up with. Uh, this one, I'm not a huge fan of that shape overall. It's kind of funky. And so there are so many options here. You don't want to spend all day, but definitely finding one that's going to give uh, the type of view that you're going for. You want it to be a high quality image um, while still being bold, clean, and simple. So this one's looking promising. Um, I might try and find one more. There's just something about this that I'm not a huge fan of. Maybe it's all these extra lines. Uh, I can kind of envision how we're going to put Bird Nerd in here. Maybe that will help us decide if this is the right one or not. Um, but I don't want something that's going to be too contrasting between the font that I want. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add in our font here so we can see how these two things will play together. So Bird and you know what? I'm actually going to try something different. I'm going to put just Bird here. And then I'm going to get this close to the way that I want it so I can duplicate this out and put nerd and have our two styles be exactly the same. So I'm going to remove the background on there. I'm going to go to my absolute favorite font inside of Spark, which is BN Regular, which is close to the top here. And I'm going to give this a little bit of rotation here to kind of match or mimic rather the binoculars. So maybe not as drastic, but just a little bit uh, to make it seem like it flows with the design. And then once I have that dialed in, I think that's about good. I'm going to duplicate this out, 
drag this over here and type in nerd. Get done. And then we'll rotate this to kind of match it on the other side and try to line that up. And I just shift clicked those two so I can move this closer to the center. I might make it a little bit smaller. Again, I want it to kind of line up with the binoculars, but I don't want it to make the shirt feel heavy on one side or the other. So I'm making it the appropriate size and moving it in place and maybe even slightly smaller uh, to fit here. So there we go, still keeping things fairly balanced and we can even check that by putting in a square here. Uh, I might be slightly heavier over here on the right hand side still, so maybe we need to adjust this just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna type in square, I'm gonna drag in this square, and then I'm gonna line all this up to see where we fit. And we wanna push this all the way to the back and maybe make it pink so it stands out. And here we can see um, our binoculars are about center, but our uh, nerd, or a D rather, in the word nerd is outside of the box, which is going to make it feel a little bit unbalanced. So what I'm going to do is push this bird all the way to the left-hand side here, and then push the word nerd inside of the box. And I'm doing this with the arrow keys to give me the uh, amount of control that I need. So bird, nerd, there we go. It is much more lined up now. Uh, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's a lot closer than it was just me eyeballing it. So I'm going to shift click all of these things, move them up to the top. Uh, and we're fairly close here. I'm just going to look for some birds now that will go inside of my binoculars. And a lot of these birds I've noticed on this shirt and the ones on the previous page were just sitting. I wanted to see if we could find some flying birds uh, to kind of complement how this is going to look and to separate ourselves a little bit. So like I said, we want to take inspiration from these things. We don't want to exactly copy them. So flying birds, I'll type that in. And then I'm going to see if we can find, ah, these two will work perfectly. So I want two that kind of complement each other, one for the left uh, eyelid, I'm not sure what this is called, but one for the left circle and one for the right circle. And so I'm gonna click this one and then make it just a little bit smaller so it actually fits inside here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing where instead of going to icon and typing that in again, I'm actually just gonna duplicate this bring it over here. So I have about the same size and I'm going to replace it with the other one that has its wings up. So these are two are kind of like complementing each other. So there we go. That's a fairly simple design. Uh, we're going to work on our colors now. And as I'm looking at this, this is kind of bland. Uh, I like the way that this one looks because everything's kind of tied in together here, but I don't really want to put in bird nerd down here. I want this to stand out at the top. So I'm thinking actually, if I shift click all of these and drag this down, uh, I might add some clouds up above just behind these letters. So I'm going to go back into my icons and add clouds. See if we can't get some like cartoony clouds that are all the way filled in. This one should work great. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and just put it behind this word bird nerd. And one thing that I absolutely love that Spark does is when I go to rotate this, it's actually going to stop or give me um, a guide showing me that the bird and this cloud are uh, at the same angle. So you can see those orange lines that are telling me that those are going to be lined up. So if I move this cloud because it has a flat bottom here and match it up with the bottom of the word bird, you're going to see that they actually line up perfectly and that's exactly what I want. And I'm just going to flip this and I'm going to put it all the way towards the back. Whoops, I actually want to rotate it this way now. I'm going to put it towards the back of the word bird, push that up, and then shift click all this stuff and bring it down so that is actually all on my artboard. So there we go, and then I'll find uh, a different cloud, but I'm going to do the same thing where I duplicate this out so that I have the right sizing. And I'm going to replace icon and find another cloud that is about the same, but just a different pattern. So click that, I'm going to flip it and then make sure that this is towards the back. So there we go. We've kind of got our two clouds. Another way that we're separating ourselves from the competition or the design that we're taking inspiration from over here on the left. And I'm just gonna move these two a little bit closer to each other. And I don't want them to all be this color. So what I'm gonna do here is I wanna stick with a blue. Uh, and this blue is fine, I guess, but I'm gonna make this, instead of this yellow, I'm gonna just make this white so it really pops. And let's see if we can't play with these colors, maybe make some, some of these inverse so you can see the two clouds overlapping each other, making this word that same blue. 
I really like that, but I'm going to bring this word. I'll have to move this over so it's not completely covering up the word nerd. Like that. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. I think if they're different sizes, that's fine. And these don't have to be perfect. You can see the letters are kind of coming out of the clouds. I think that's fine. You can still read what they say, but this is just adding another element to this. And I think to balance this out, I'll actually make these birds white as well inside of the binoculars, making those both white. So I'm going to shift click all of this and bring it up just so it's a little bit more uniform. So there we go. Just a couple of minutes, a few shapes. Uh, there was a lot of aligning in this design because we are trying to make all these shapes look good together. Uh, but I think that's a good design. We've done some fun things with the colors here, just inverting them. Uh, but it, it, there's nothing too crazy here. We didn't have to draw any of these shapes. We're inside of Spark. Uh, so we're just going to use icons to our advantage and really bring this all together. And I know I may have gone through that a little fast. So if you'd like to see step-by-step -step instructions for how to make designs with Spark, which is a 100% free tool, there are some paid courses on our website down below. And if you'd like to see more videos here on YouTube of me creating other designs with this tool, you can feel free to click this video playlist over here. But until the next one, I'll see you guys around.